So the destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline, the natural gas pipeline that carried, well, natural gas from East to West Europe, was the single most profound act of environmental terrorism in history. It released more deadly CO2 into the atmosphere. It was also an attack on our NATO allies. Our NATO allies are the beneficiaries of the natural gas pipeline. Germany, which is the core of European NATO, suffered. So the Biden administration was talking about how much it loves NATO, attacked NATO, and they did it. They promised to carry it out. They haven't really denied that they did it. So during an interview with Donald Trump yesterday, we thought we'd ask, who does he think did it? We previewed the answer last night. Here's the full exchange. Who blew up the Nord Stream pipeline? Um, I don't want to get our country in trouble, so I won't answer it. But uh, I can tell you who it wasn't was Russia. Yeah. How about when they blamed Russia? You know, they said Russia blew up their own pipeline. You got a kick out of that one, too. It wasn't Russia. Uh, so I won't answer the question only because I don't want to get our country yeah. any deeper than they already are. But it sort of all starts. We have, you know, we have the most incredible equipment. I rebuilt our whole military. We have things that are, you can do anything. We're equipped to do anything. But I refuse to say it because I want our country to be pristine. But it was, uh, you know, in many ways, blowing it up was very bad because it really created a lot of problems for Europe in terms of uh, the cost of energy. Oh, yeah. But they shouldn't have ever been. I had that pipeline stop, Nord Stream 2. I had it stopped, totally stopped. When Biden came in, he approved it, and they immediately started the finishing action. I had Nord Stream because I said, for Germany and Europe to get their energy from Russia, that was when I said I sent Angela Merkel the, bla the flag. I sent her the white flag of surrender. She said, but why, but why do you do that? I said, you've been fighting Russia for many years. If you ever have to fight with Russia and they control energy, you might as well just take the white flag of surrender. And that's what I did. So uh, that was blown up and uh, very dangerous to do it. But I think most people know who did it. So once we start blowing up other people's critical infrastructure, is there a concern ours could get blown up in return? Well, I, I think it's much more than infrastructure you're talking about. Look, we could end up in World War III over this whole thing. Forget about pipeline. We are closer. I believe it's the most dangerous period of time in history. Number one, because we have people on top that are incompetent. That's number one. And again, China's fine if you know how to deal. Russia, if you know how to deal. Russia wasn't going into Ukraine with me. China wasn't going into Taiwan with me. I mean, now all you see is, you know, China with ships all over the place and sending airplanes and bombers. That wasn't happening with me. He knew you can't do it. And also, Russia knew you can't do it. They would have never done it. The most dangerous period of time because of weaponry, because of nuclear, because of weaponry, most dangerous period of time in the history of our country and in the history of the world right now. And we have an incompetent person at the top. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.